Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a dot charger. If you have a dot charger, you have a problem where you cannot turn the car off, you cannot turn the ignition switch off and you're wondering what can easily cause that. Stay with us guys, we'll explain that in this video today. It could be multiple things. We'll start with the most popular ones that we see quite often at the shop and the ones that we think are most popular guys. All that will be covered in this video today. We'll talk about common mistakes people make. Make sure to stay until the end. We'll cover very helpful information today. Before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. Oh, we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos and we can keep saving you money guys. If you need to uh, buy parts too, check out the link in the description of the video below. You can get them at a really good price, quick shipping. That's so. It should work on V6, V8. The ignition switch is practically the system is the same. Doesn't matter if you have a V6, V8. Specifically, we have a 3.6 V6 engine, which is a 2018 year model. Let's say your dot charger ignition switch is stuck, guys. It's stuck. You cannot turn it off. You may even get a message on the dash that says service transmission continue in drive. Okay, do not turn ignition off or do not turn car off that if that happens guys what do you need to check there is one specific fuse okay one specific fuse that you need to check for that we'll talk about that in a second so the fuse that we're talking about guys okay will be in that fuse box in the trunk so you can see this is guys your trunk this is the uh, cargo liner here lifted up the trunk liner you get to the car battery the fuses uh, common mistakes people often make guys three common mistakes one they do not disconnect car battery when replacing fuses and relays. Uh, it's often recommended to do that, to disconnect the car battery. And if you don't, you can burn electronics, module computers, and that can cost you thousands of dollars in damages. Number two, it's very important to know which battery terminal to disconnect first. If you disconnect the wrong one or reconnect the, first, uh, the wrong one, you can burn modules and computers. How we guys know that? Pretty simple. We burn one on Mercedes, one computer. It costs us $2,000, guys. So check out there is a video that teaches you which battery terminal to disconnect, reconnect first. Right here now, okay, right here are your fuses and relays very important to always test fuses that's mistake number three why because the fuse may seem perfectly fine but it actually may be a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see if it's burned always test them so you don't waste your time and money on parts and problems that do not exist we will put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses relays and where to buy cheap fuses and relays from the fuse that you need to check starting from the very left side even if you have a missing one you count it one two three four five six that six fuse in, a, in line, but it's actually known as fuse number F7. Check this fuse, guys. It could be the one causing that problem, okay? If that fuse is bad, it's for exterior lights too, okay? That can easily do that. It's for exterior lights and for the transmission shifter too. What else can cause, okay, uh, uh, the ignition switch not to be able to turn off? That fuse, okay? Because it's part of the transmission, ignition system, and exterior lights. But it could be something else. Other things that can cause that now is bad ignition switch, bad ignition switch, and in some cases it may be bad transmission shifter. Now, let's say you guys replace the fuse, you still have that problems, what I recommend, get one of these scanners. It's amazing, that's a life-saving device. We will put the link in the description of the video below where you can get it from, you can check the current price and features, but it's a tool that can pay itself off in one time use, guys. It can access every computer system, it can read codes, delete codes and see live data for every computer system in your car. Some Dodges, I've seen quite a few computers in them, but most modern cars like that BMW here may end up having up to 60 different computers in it, guys. So, with the uh, help of that, you will be able to figure out why the ignition switch cannot turn off. But sometimes when you replace a fuse, you need that too to actually reset the codes. Because if you have a message stored in the computer that there was a fault, the only way to reset it sometimes is by using a computer to reset all the codes, clear everything and see if that fixes the problem, guys. So that could be your thing. If the ignition switch is bad, we'll have a video on the channel how to test ignition switch and how to replace ignition switch on dot charger. Check it out. It will teach you all about that. But always start with the fuses. Another thing, guys. You need to check fuses. You have specific fuses for ignition only. Fuses and relays. 
you have multiple fuses for ignition switch and multiple relays for ignition so if you want to see where they are check out this this is our second youtube channel electrical car repair live we'll have the fuses and relays for the ignition there so we don't waste your time now but this is like a quick video just to explain what can easily cause that hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time